Ivana Trump spent the last few years as a frequent visitor to restaurants around her New York City home. Here's what the owners of those restaurants think now that her familiar face is gone and the warning signs they may have seen before her tragic death. The public's memory of the late Ivana Trump is understandably tied to her ex-husband, former President Donald Trump, whom she worked with as part of his business empire. In the 1980s, Ivana ran the Trump Castle Casino in Atlantic City and served as a vice president for the Trump Organization. She also pursued business opportunities of her own. After her divorce from Donald, Ivana had successful business ventures such as beauty products and clothing lines. She was also a fixture on New York's dining scene, visiting both ritzy haute cuisine establishments and local food carts. She famously even appeared in a Pizza Hut commercial with her ex-husband. It's wrong, isn't it? But it feels so right. Then it's a deal? Yes, we eat our pizza the wrong way. Crust first. Not long before her death, she dined at one of her favorite upscale locations. It was at that time that the owner of the establishment, a longtime acquaintance of Trump's, noticed that all was not well. As People reports, Ivana Trump's New York City home wasn't far from the Italian restaurant Primola. She became a familiar face at the establishment. But when she stopped by in the weeks before her death, the restaurant's owner, Giuliano Zuliani, thought that she didn't seem to be in good shape. In fact, he said she could barely walk. This was echoed by fellow restaurateur Zach Erdem, who owns the restaurant 75 Main in the Hamptons. Erdem told the New York Post that Trump couldn't walk and had told him that pain in her leg made it difficult to even leave her home. He was so concerned that he pressed her to see a doctor, but Trump dismissed the suggestion. According to Erdem, she said, no, I hate going to doctors. I get more sick going to doctors. While Trump did make it to Primola and even managed to order some of her favorite menu items, veal scallopine and pasta with tomato sauce, Zuliani said that she didn't eat her food and instead took the order to go. He said she didn't show the boldness he had grown accustomed to, adding, it was so sad to see her like that. According to CNN, Ivana Trump died on July 14th after being found unconscious at the foot of the stairs in her New York City apartment. According to the New York Post, one of the last restaurants Trump visited before her death was Altizia Ristorante, an eatery near her Upper East Side home. Altizi owner Paola Alavian told The Post that Trump came to the restaurant while on a walk with a personal health aide the day before her death, but she didn't come in to dine. She instead ordered soup for delivery to her home. Alavian went on to share that the restaurant's soups were a favorite of Trump's. Though it was apparent to the owners of the restaurants that Ivana Trump liked to frequent that her health was declining, it seemed she had no intention of slowing down or letting pain issues stop her from enjoying life and visiting her friends. Her best friend, Nikki Haskell, told Page Six that Trump had plans to leave for a trip to Saint-Tropez, France, a favorite seaside destination for the wealthy and famous. It was to be Trump's first trip since the start of the pandemic, but she died the day before her planned departure. Despite her physical difficulties, Primola restaurant owner Giuliano Zuliani recalled that Trump was, quote, still very nice and polite to everyone. When Trump visited Altizi Ristorante the day before she died, owner Paola Alavian chatted with her outside. Though she seemed tired, he said she never complained about anything, never mentioned anything. Trump had even stopped by the restaurant a few weeks earlier on Alavian's birthday and had staff ask him to come outside so she could give him a birthday hug.